Hi, my name is Rocky Rivero. I'm a designer with EA Sports MMA. All right, AJ here again. I'm with Rocky. Rocky, you guys are showing off the new Total Strike Control in EA Sports MMA. How does that work? So Total Strike Control started with Fight Night. Using the right stick to deliver punches, what we've done is made it available in an MMA game so that you can also deliver elbows, knees, and kicks. Okay, and you guys also showed off during the presentation uh, how the face buttons are implemented in the game. It's not a button masher, no. but uh, how does it work? So basically, if you are the kind of person that prefers using a button configuration to fight, you can switch to button controls. If you prefer using like the Fight Night style, which is on the sticks, you can do that as well. Ultimately, we want to leave it up to the, to the player to determine how they want to play the game. So basically, we have a consistency of control as well. The A button is always going to advance you, so A button will get you the takedown. A button will advance, uh, help allow you to pass on the ground. Uh, conversely, you press the B button, that will deny the takedown. It will also deny passes on the ground. What we do is have consistency of control, so you're never confused. You always feel like you're involved in the game and have control of your fighter. And with advanced striking, you also have an advanced defense system. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us about that one as well. So it's about more than just blocking. You know, blocking certainly serves a purpose, but there's also parries in the game. You can also slip and dodge. We want it as uh, powerful as you can be offensively in the game. You also have to be able to, to retaliate defensively as well, and we give that to you with that total defensive control. A big part of MMA is submissions because, uh, you know, you got to get your guy to tap out or knock him out if you can't knock him out. So uh, tell us uh, about submission battles in MMA, how you guys captured that and made it as realistic as possible. So basically when it comes to submissions, there's two kinds of submissions. You've got your joint lock submission, something like an arm bar or a Kimura, and then you've got your choke submissions like a rear naked choke or a Dars choke. Now the thing is, a submission battle in the game, this is not a wax on, wax off kind of mechanic. You're actually having to think through what you're doing. This is a battle between you and your opponent. So depending on whether or not it's a joint lock submission or a choke submission, you have control of that battle. All right, Rocky, we're here with the, uh, the global media. This is the really the first chance the media's had a chance to actually get their hands on the stick. You guys have demoed it at some other uh, events. What has the reception been like when people have actually gotten to, to play around with it? So far it's been very positive. The great thing about it is that it's been very accessible. Right off the bat, people are submitting me, they're knocking me out, and I'm genuinely trying against these guys. They're able to pick up the controls and immediately start having fun with the game. I see them really getting into it, and it's very satisfying for me as a designer to see that kind of action. All right, Rocky, thanks a lot. The game looks awesome. comes out later this year, so make sure to pick it up. EA Sports. It's in the game.